Hey guys, what is going on? And today it brings me to talk about teams, like the pros and cons of them. So I know I've done a bunch of videos like this before, but I just wanted to do this again, just because, like I say, the pros and cons of them, because in the other videos I didn't really do that. So today we're going to be talking about a couple different teams. There's going to be Grind, what happened with Haze, Rush, D7, DK, Slash Darkness, uh, Carnage, Doom, Dare, Spade, and Vivid. So first we'll start off with Grind, the pros and cons of them. The cons, I would probably say, is they don't upload that often to like for their channel in my opinion, for like their main channel. It's, I mean, and it seems like they don't have that much people. I mean, it just doesn't seem too organized for my liking and stuff like that. And there doesn't seem to be very many members. But the pros of it, then you get to like upload a lot of the main channel that they have because they don't have too many members. You'll get to know everybody better, and you kind of have free roam instead of like being more strict, I'd say, about it. So, I mean, that's an okay choice. Next is Hayes, what, or well, we're going to talk about what happened with Hayes real quick. I So, I asked, like, Lummy and some of the other people what happened exactly with Hayes, and they basically said it's dead, like, there's nothing more of it, like, the, they're not doing it anymore. Like, Tabs quit that and everything, so it's not a thing anymore. Next is Rush. So if you don't know what my Twitter looks like, it says hashtag Rush Pubs, which stands for Rush Pubs Domain, if you don't know what that means. So basically, whenever Rush 2.0 goes like goes live, I'm going to go for that. But Rush, the pros and cons. Uh, pros, they talk a lot with their fans and stuff, and they're like a very big, well-organized team, I'd say. Um, and like, you can... One of the cons I'd probably say is like it's strictly COD, so that's why I'm trying to mix COD into my channel now, so I can be more like helpful for them instead of like, like if I did join and they like I did commentary for their channel and they like people would go check out my channel and they only see Titanfall and they wouldn't be interested into that because it's not COD and that's what they like COD, so that's one con. It's just strictly one game, but I mean that's okay. Like. If you're good at that one game, then that's perfect for you. Like, if I could find a Titanfall team like that, that would be awesome. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to like COD more. Like, I, I'm saying, I'm liking COD more right now. Like, Ghost is my game right now. Like, I'm doing, I'm starting to get better at that. I've been talking with, I've been talking with Rush Dutch quite a bit. I'm talking about, like, getting better at the game and stuff. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. But, like I said, they, and they even... Rush even has a community discord for like other fans and stuff, which has a lot of people in and I'm always active in that if you want to talk to me about or anything in that too. Um, I think it's on their Twitter if you want to go check that out. I'm not going to link it down below because I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to or not. But basically they like to communicate with their fans a lot and there's quite a bit of them so you like there's a variety like you could talk with the commentators or the pub stompers or the streamers. Like, or the designers. There's so many different genres of stuff you can talk about with them. D7 and DK. I'm not exactly too sure about them. I know they're just smaller teams and I think they're mainly pub stomping or commentating teams. I'm not exactly sure too much about them so I'm going to kind of skip over those ones. Next is Carnage. So the only con... Well, yeah, the only con I really say, well, the only problem about Carnage I see is like the main channel. I think it features some of the team's gameplay and stuff, but it only features one commentator, which is the only downside to see to it. But otherwise, it's a really great, great team, it has a lot of nice members, great designers, great everything I'd say. It's a really good pub stopping sort of ish team. It's kind of like Rush, but I'd say a higher upscale, but with like only one commentator on the main channel. That's the only thing I don't like about that team. Next is Doom. They have a lot of good people, a lot of older people, I'd say like 20s in it. And they're, the, they kind of do kind of like the pub stopping, like Carnage and Rush, where they just do like world records sort of, but they also do commentaries and stuff. They don't really seem to be uploading that often. Well, I mean, they, they upload like pretty often, like maybe a couple of uh, yeah, they do have to upload maybe like four videos a week or something, so they upload pretty often. And they're even uh, verified, same with Carnage, they're both verified. I mean, this is a pretty big team along with Carnage. I'd probably pick Doom over Carnage, just my personal opinion. Next would be 
Dare. So a lot of people follow me, like quite a bit of people from Dare follow me. I'm not too sure about Dare. Like, so a lot of people from Dare follow me. It's a pretty cool team. They kind of do like the world records and trick shots and stuff and CSGO moments and like MW trick shots and stuff. They have basically the same sub count as Doom, 233,000 subscribers, and they're also verified. So I kind of like that team. They have like their own jerseys and stuff, which looks sick. I mean, they're a pretty cool team, but like more advanced sort of seems. I don't know. Just seems more like up there, like as more professional, I'd say. Next is Spade. So Spade is a lower level pub something team. I'm not too sure I like them that much. Like they're pretty cool. I think Cookies is the leader of their team or not. I'm not too sure. Lately, there's been some drama with them on Twitter and stuff. Like they, like, I think Brandon from Rush or something like that said it perfectly. Or Rush Serial. You guys are acting like a teenager tweeting this stuff. Like. They're like, I might just quit and stuff like that. Like, I don't know why. Why would you tweet that stuff? Like, it's it's kind of annoying. But I don't know. It, it's a decent team. Like, I know whenever I went for Haze, that was the team you would join basically if you were almost in Haze. Sort of like you could do roster those two. Like they were combined, like partnered with each other. I'd say. Next is Vivid. So I think classified from Rush runs this and I know abstract isn't it those are the only two members I really know of but I think it's a pretty cool team pub something like all most of these teams are pub something that I know of but I think it's a pretty cool team maybe one day get pretty big I think if they keep doing going like that because the only two people I know in it are um abstract and classified which are two pretty good commentators like classified at so much energy and abstract is good at making videos and stuff like that. So, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button down below. And if you want me to talk about any other teams, comment that down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.